Hi, I'm Jimmy. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great start to your weekend. I wanted to show you something I bought on Amazon. This is a corner cutter. So it has three different things you can, three different shapes. But I, I like having this. I had one of these with Creative Memories, which is a thing I did a long time ago. But see, so it's, these tippins are square. So you just, see, isn't that cool? So I think this is a neat thing. It just, I don't know, makes it look better. I don't like the sharp edges. So I thought I'd share that with you. I will put the link to this below. I want to just take you on a quick flip through of my past week just to see how it's going. It changes every week. I used to do more of a scripting method where I would write out how I wanted the day to go and what I wanted to happen. But for now, I'm doing kind of a mixture, which I will show you, and like a glorified to-do list kind of. It's just what works for me right now. So this is my weekly layout. Sometimes I'll put in big letters with my main thing to do that day. And I just put the things I need to do, go by the grocery store for birthday food, keep my sprinklers going, people's schedules, we had a good birthday for my son, George. Reminders, that sort of thing. And I have the weather on here. So Monday. So I, when I start, it's kind of like scripting. Wake naturally and slowly, get dressed for cooler weather, downstairs, put in toast while I open up house and get coffee. And the reason I'm doing that is I've been having belly issues with coffee when I drink it on an empty stomach. So, of course, instead of just giving up coffee like I should, I eat toast or something with it, like avocado toast. And then I don't, it doesn't upset my belly then. It just started happening. I used to be able to eat and drink whatever and it wouldn't affect me. Now it does, now that I'm 60. And text my daughter about tomorrow, journal and script my day, cuddled up in a blanket because it was chilly that day. In the morning it was anyway. Do 20 minutes prayer and meditation after Peter leaves. It's funny because with the boys at home, my two, um, well, it's actually my youngest who just turned 20 and then my oldest who is 27. He's in a transition period. It is hard to have time to have quiet in the house, enough to even do videos. And sometimes I like to put in affirmation. I have an abundance of time. I was feeling anxious and rushed this morning for some reason. So I wanted to remember that I have an abundance of time and everything that needs to get done will get done. What doesn't get done didn't need to be done. So trying to realize I have an abundance of time that helps me calm down. And what I did this week is I did today I need to and then like a to-do list. And I put hearts and once I do the thing, I fill it in. And I wanted to remember to do my yoga, play in my planners, and easy dinner. Tuesday, same sort of thing. This is my son's 20th birthday, and it went really well. We had all the kids over and their significant others. We made kielbasa and pierogies with vegan versions for the two vegans. It just went really good success. I wrote that later. Wednesday, and this is kind of like a to-do list and kind of scripting. Talk with Peter a bit before he leaves for a flight. He's a pilot, but I like to uh, write in taking time to spend with them while they're at home, you know, because it won't last forever. And even though they're loud and require extra work, I'm still happy they're here and I want to Spend as much time with them as I can. Run the sprinklers, work a little on my pumpkin face. I'm donating this pumpkin to this neighborhood fundraiser. It's like a contest. Um, early lunch, and then another today I need to. 
had a lot to do for my mother this week for some reason. She just had a lot of appointments and I had to talk with her skilled nursing facility and just some issues there. And then again, and here I put times down. Sometimes I like to do that, if, especially if I have somewhere to go that night, which I did. So I put times, and I don't follow them exactly, but it just gives me a chance to, just gives me a glimpse of to how much time I actually have because my to-do list is always way bigger than what I can actually do. So, but it's still, I still like to write it down. And then what doesn't get done, like this one, I can transfer it to the next day. But I did get an awfully lot done that day. And then this is today. And I've started again. I want to go 10 days with no sugar. So I've been watching videos on it. There's a lady called Dr. Becky. I don't even remember her last name. But she's really good. And it just inspires me to you know, not have sugar and just the benefits that it'll bring. Mainly for me is um, insulin resistance and I used to be pre-diabetic and I've started eating a lot more sugar and white flour lately and I can tell a difference. Mainly hot sweats, which I had always thought was menopause, but I'm past that now. And I'm, just, you know, it's when I eat a lot of sugar and white flour, I get sweaty and I get hot flashes and wake up at night. So hopefully this will help and just kind of scripted my day a little bit here. And I walked up to the clubhouse to drop my pumpkin off for exercise. So now I got sunshine and exercise plus did an errand. Here's the pumpkin face I did. I took a picture of it and stuck it in there. So just the thing on top of his head reminded me of alfalfa, you know, from Little Rascals. Some of you may not remember that. And I cut out some cardboard ears and stuck those in the side. So <laughs> that's my alfalfa pumpkin. That was fun. It was fun to do. So we'll see if I win or not. And then I wanted to remind myself to have herbal tea after dinner and before bed because that will help that'll help me not have sweets that will like when i'm feeling like oh i need dessert or i need some a little snack i'll reach for herbal tea instead so hopefully that helps and then tomorrow so i've already started writing my list for tomorrow i wanted to put to eat healthily so i remember i already have dinner down you know, and I, I try to fill out as much as I can ahead of time, but it doesn't always work. And eat healthily again. And I wanted to leave myself a reminder to eat a big lunch before we leave for the my husband's company party. It's a pumpkin carving contest at one of his colleagues' houses. So that'll be fun. I have filled out a little more of this page because now it is Saturday morning. I never did finish that video last night. So this is what I'm doing today. And I'm just having so much fun planning. We did some holiday planning this morning, my husband and I, because my daughter texted us and said that she already planned something with Nanny, which is my husband's mother, for when they come on Christmas. So she already has booked them for Christmas Eve and wants us to come along. So it made me want to go ahead and do some planning. So my husband and I did, we thought of, looked stuff up and thought about what we could do. And so I went back to, sorry about that. I went back to, <clears throat> I went back to my yearly planner to December. And there are, pages afterwards four pages after each month this one was a misprint but i'm still going to use it i can just fill this in so it was really nice to go ahead and plan out what our christmas is going to be like not every detail but at least what we're going to be doing with my in-laws when they come down from new jersey so have that all planned out and we looked up some Christmas activity ideas 
for what we could do. The Whitewater Center is a big one that's near here and they have ice skating. They have places where you can ice skate, like free skate. And they also have trails. You can ice skate on trails. And then they have light trails where you walk through the trails in the woods and they have light displays all in the woods. It's just so beautiful. It doesn't even cost to go walk through. It costs if you ice skate or do the activities, you know, and they have food. So that's what we're gonna plan on doing. But if it rains or the weather is bad, we might go to do the Speedway Christmas because you drive through this big, big light show at the Charlotte Speedway and you stay in your car. So if the weather's bad, we'll do that. But it just felt fun and good to go ahead and start planning Christmas. I know it seems early, but it was really fun getting out all my Christmas decorations and Christmas stickers. So I'm excited and I am very excited to be doing the November setup, which will be my next video. And if I don't get my planner perfect November kit by then, by when I start doing it, I might use some old planner perfect Thanksgiving stuff. I don't know why it's not coming in time, but it is what it is. And I'm looking forward to that and I'll show you which leather I picked and also the custom insert that I ordered from Planner Perfect that goes with the Coco Daisy kit. So that'll be lots of fun. I'm really excited about that. I love a new month, new goals. It's just like a fresh start every month. So thank you again. I hope you have a good weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.